I'm going to show you how you can control your wave state and each of its layers separately, sending different MIDI signals to each of those layers and uh, controlling the audio from each one of them. And we're going to do all of that from within your door so it sends out a different MIDI channel to each layer of the Korg wave state. So to get started on here, I've just set up four MIDI channels. The first one I've got playing a, a two chord sequence, which is a, a C and an F chord. Um, and then on the next one, I've got like a, an arpeggiated pattern, which is going to control a bass layer. And then there's a, a drum pattern, so it's just going to hold for that one. And again, another drum pattern. I'm going to hold for that one. So obviously the main thing to do with this is just make sure that everything is set here to the wave state. We don't really need the ins from the wave state because we're not taking anything in, but we are outputting to the wave state, but we might as well just put both on for now. So we've set that up. So we have wave state, MIDI from and to, and then we normally just leave it on channel one for uh, the wave state. But if you change each one of these to channel two, three and four, you can set the wave state up, which I'll show you now how to do that. So here we're looking at the wave state and you can see I've got the patch up uh, deep house beat and it's got four layers on this. If we look at the different layers, uh, we can see on here, the first one is uh, deep house chords. The next one is deep house. I think that might be simple bass. And then we've got deep house, um, light rhythm and uh, a, a deep rhythm there as well. So. What we want to do is go to layer A to start off with and then in layer A we go over here and to our perform and we hit shift and the page and we go through the pages until eventually we come to layer setup and this is the layer setup just for layer A. And the thing that we're really interested in on here is the use global MIDI channel. So we move to the global MIDI channel and normally that stays on all the time but we're going to just turn it backwards there and turn it off and that gives us another option right below it. And here we're going to see it's in MIDI channel one and that's fine because that's exactly what we had it in in Ableton. So we go to B and we do exactly the same thing on layer B. So we move to the MIDI channel, we dial it backwards so it goes off. That gives us the option there for the MIDI channel and then with this time we just turn it up to two and now we've got layer B assigned to two. And then obviously we're just going to do this for each one of them. And then this last one goes to four. And then what that means is that our four channels in our Ableton, in our door, DAW, uh, can come through onto here and we can send separate layers of MIDI to each of these different layers. So they could all play something slightly different. And so that's the real beauty of this. And you can set up obviously a whole bunch of different patterns in there and send them across at different times to really build up complex songs and rhythms. So now in Ableton, I've just got the play on on the first MIDI channel so we can listen to that. And obviously you can do this in the Korg wave state just by switching the layers on and off. But the real beauty of being able to do this here is really your ability to um, arpeggiate and to put in more complex sequences and to be able to do something different with your chords and with maybe a bass layer like you're doing here. Anyway, I hope you think that's useful. It's just a good way that I've been able to control all the different layers on the wave state layer A through D by using different MIDI channels in your DAW.